<clears throat> do uh, uh, themes have come up recently that kind of seem to play in with each other. Uh, one, uh, Ajahn Chando was talking about aditanas the other night, aditana, determination, determinations. And Paul was talking last night about um, uh, Ajahn Chah's uh, reflection of uh, dare to practice. Uh, and I think both of those, to me, have this sense of uh, really having to pull up some uh, motivation, effort, uh, clarity, uh, and yeah, the quality of determination. Uh, the, uh, there's a lot of different ways determinations can be uh, talked about. One was like with Ajahn Chah's, I mean Ajahn Chundas, um, reference to setting determinations for the Vasa, working on habits that are entrenched through certain resolutions to see through and doing them in a reasonable way. And then the other way I think of it is, is just the quality of determination that's needed to keep us going on the path, uh, to keep us coming back to the path in general. Um, that, yeah, resolve to just, when things are getting difficult or tougher, you don't feel like things are uh, progressing, in quotes, uh, the way that you, that you think they should be, or there's setbacks in the practice, or you just can't get still, or can't get quiet, or uh, any of the frustrations that, you know, we all experience, short-term practitioners, long-term practitioners, the whole gamut. Um, that sometimes you need to pull up that uh, sense of determination just to, to push through it because it's easy to cave in or give up or um, you know just feel like well you know it's a hopeless case I can't yeah you know, this is this is not working it's untenable um, uh, the path isn't isn't right for me or any of those kinds of uh, reflections that go through our mind in moments of difficulty or doubt um, but. You know, a determination to just keep muscling through with a basis in, in the quality of faith. That, okay, you, you know, you entered this practice, you entered this path with a certain uh, inspiration, uh, probably because something you heard, read, or involved even evolved uh, during you know, practice that caused you this sense of, oh, this seems to work, this seems to be. This seems to be a, a way out of, of suffering, uh, and the Buddhist path seems to be a legitimate way to do that. So a, a sense of confidence, um, because at least what you've tried so far <coughs> seems to work, even if it hasn't resulted in reaching the goal. So drawing up a, a sense of determination just to not believe the, uh, the words, the doubts, the you know, the unclarity that sometimes comes up or the frustration or, uh, with the difficulties that come into practice and to assert that sense of aditana or determination to go through based on a reflective, intelligent faith. So it's kind of marrying a couple of qualities. One is that mustering up of energy and determination just to keep going uh, and not think about it too much. Um, but with a, backed up with a sense of uh, confidence or conviction that, you know, so far it seems to, to be um, a good path. You can't see any reason why it shouldn't be, why it should be abandoned or why it shouldn't be pursued. And trying to balance those efforts, uh, uh, energy, uh, with a kind of softness too that holds the difficulties uh, and allows one to experience them without a sense of agitation or frustration or it shouldn't be this way. Um, and to hold it with a sense of kindness uh, in the midst of that rallying up of the energy uh, and the determination to, to see it through uh, no matter what your, what your uh, mind is telling you. Um, you know, not to not to necessarily believe it just because you're thinking it, as Ajahn Sumedho would say. Um, so, yeah, just uh, realizing that everybody goes through 
difficulties, ups and downs, sometimes really quite striking, uh, that cause us to shake maybe our faith a little bit, but to use our capacity to remember what it is that we've gained so far in the inspiring examples that we have in our lives of the, of the senior monks that have come before us who have gone through what we've gone through and probably even, even worse <laughs> kinds of challenges. Uh, and to use that as um, ballast for, for just keeping going, using that determination, that faculty of determination, the faculty of faith, um, and uh, a broad accepting perspective uh, that uh, this is the way the path goes. It's not straight, you know, up and up and up and up until you land in Nibbana. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Um, so if it seems difficult, Ajahn, I remember Ajahn Amaro used to say, if it seems difficult, that means the practice is working because it's challenging your, your, your uh, defilements. The practice is causing them to rise up and become known rather than just stay hidden. So, uh, yeah, if you find difficulties in your practice, uh, that means it's working. Okay, let's do that for this morning. This morning.